So here we are in LifeLux, and uh, this is a different setup. What we're doing here is uh, we, we're outputting a scene from Unreal Engine on a different machine directly to the LED processor. And what we're doing in LifeLux is uh, remote accessing the LED processor and uh, creating a lookup table in real time using the grading tools. Uh, and we're sending that lookup table uh, X number of times per second to the LED processor to effectively live grade the volume over there. So to do that in here, I have uh, various tools uh, at my disposal. Um, I have the uh, color wheels here, lift, gum again. Um, I have numeric controls. I have curves, the usual suspects like uh, a normal gamma curve, as you can see here, to adjust the lightness of the shot. I have hue versus hue curve, so I could turn skin tones more towards yellow. Um, hue versus saturation curves to desaturate certain colors, like green, for instance, as you can see on the color chart there. Um, we have the uh, color remapper, which we call vector grid. So this I could also use to desaturate skin tones um, or move them slightly into a different hue, depending on what I want to achieve creatively. Um, I can use these color tools with professional grading panels if I want to. So this is, this is all uh, very easily doable. Um, and yeah, if I, if I do change the color here, uh, you will see the change immediately uh, on the volume. So if I want to make this shot warmer, like such, I can do this. Uh, I can quickly disable the grade so you can see the difference off and on. So this is pretty instant. Um, and to set this all up, uh, what you have to do is here in the Setup menu, in the Lot Boxes tab, where I created basically uh, three groups of LED processors because uh, Often you, you have to use uh, two or even more LED processors per LED wall, depending on the size of the wall. So what you want to do in that case is group uh, multiple processors together. So when you're doing a color adjustment, this adjustment is sent to all processors in the group in order to live grade the entirety of the LED wall. Um, and furthermore, I can obviously create multiple groups if I have multiple LED walls or want to, you know, uh, simply uh, a grade in multiple channels. And in this case, I have set up two channels here in LiveLux. Um, and uh, obviously LiveLux comes with uh, color management. So I can tell it that uh, the footage on this channel here is simple Rec. 709 Gamma 2.4. Um, and I can also tell it that uh, Brompton Stack A, for instance, uh, is in Rec. 2020 color space and wants to receive its content in PQ. So this way, I can have live looks do uh, color space transforms uh, in order to make pretty much any footage look great uh, on the LED wall. So this is the live grading, uh, live volume grading uh, part uh, in terms of API integration that we did. For LiveFX, we did a different integration. Let me show you that. So I'll exit live looks and enter live effects. What we did for live effects is slightly different. So, when you're using live effects, live effects acts as the content provider to the LED processor. So, we could, for instance, simply uh, output this image to the LED processor. And if we need to tweak it, well, we would simply uh, grade the image, like such, uh, simply before we send it to the LED processor. So, what's then left to do? Up here in the tools menu, you can call up the LED wall control panel, and from here, we can control the brightness, gain, and temperature of any given LED wall. So I choose my first wall, Brompton Stack A, and I can increase the brightness here. Just like that. Or I can, let me make it a little bit brighter again, change the temperature. So I can make this really cold or really warm. And these transforms are actually happening on the LED processor. I'm tweaking electrical parameters if you want. And if you look at the uh, software uh, for the LED processor, you can actually see that these sliders there are moving. I move them here and 
inside like flex. All right, so this is the uh, color workflow when, you're, uh, when the content comes out of LiveFX. Then we have the uh, integration with the uh, electrical parameters here on the LED processor. Uh, when the content is not provided by LiveFX, but coming, for instance, straight out of Unreal Engine, uh, you would use Live Looks to live grade the volume. To learn more about Live Looks, visit assimilating.com.